Hey, Hannah, I think we're alone. We are alone? <laughs> I think we are alone. Oof, this was uh, dramatic. There was an issue. Hi, guys. See some eyeballs starting. We had some uh, We had some issue. That wasn't our issue. fault today. It wasn't our fault. StreamYard was down, and there was some something with the cloud flare, cloud flare or something going on in the world of internet. Yes. Hello. So, so we are about 10 minutes in. We are a little late. Sorry, guys. Yeah, but we are no. here. That's what counts. So, so yeah, we yeah, had, you know, it wasn't our technical issue, our, our streaming platform. Oh, my heart is like <laughs> pounding. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome everybody. Hello, Rachel, Sherry, Hello, How are Diana, Hello. welcome. I guess we can. Uh, We're going to jump into it. Jump right into it. So, hands going first yeah, today. I'm going to go first. Let me see if my camera is somewhat. Okay, let's do this. All right. Oh, where are you, Mar? Um, oh, I, I think he's <laughs> we don't want to lose you. All right, guys. So today I'm going to start by making some decor. Well, let me first, uh, I suppose, well, yeah, let's do this first. So I'm going to make some, um, these are going to be pom-poms. It's a quick, quick one. Oh, technical issues. Oh, yes. We, well, it wasn't our fault, Jeremy. I love your sweater too, Mar. So oh, what I have here, this is a template. Um, and I'm just going to pipe some large dots. And we're going to dust them with sanding sugar. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you. What did you say it was? A flare hand? A cloud flare. Cloud flare. It's a, you can look it up. A cloud flare. I had yeah, never usually seen. that's the, that's like if, if there, there's an issue with something. I don't understand all of it. <laughs> just let's like, just be, you know. I did at one point, but now like you forget. So that, you know, you want to dust it and then you let it dry and then you can, um, remove it and use it to decorate and that's what i have here already so you can just shake it off shake it like that and then remove it okay you can leave it like that until it's dry and then remove it okay you can make these in variety of different colors you can make them bigger these make really great flower centers uh, today i'm going to use them to make um, cute little pom-poms on a cookie okay so that's done and now the cookie that i'm going to be decorating today this is the shape i don't know if you guys remember a few weeks ago i used the triangle shape and this is basically the same shape except here at the top i added the heart and um, i'm going to now decorate this cookie okay i'm using my sugar cookie recipe and it's listed on my blog those of you who are not familiar Hanyelas.com. Okay. There. So I'm going to take edible marker, and you can use any kind of round object. I'm just using my cutter. This is a cutter from Atiko set that I absolutely love. And we're going to use. Ivory royal icing. When I make skin tone icing, I like to use um, ivory and a little bit of pink. Oh, the points on the on the, the dots. Yes, you have to smooth them with a scribe. <laughs> I'm definitely not making stuff up. You can look up, and it's a one word cloud flare. <laughs> okay. So this is about 20 seconds here. Well, I can hear crickets, it's so quiet. I have to tell you, I mean, it's a little, it throws you off stuff like it this. throws you off, yes, we were here, we were getting ready and, um, we couldn't log in, so that was, it's stressful, that's for sure. 
So yeah, she's making a, a little uh, doll type. A little doll, uh, yeah, a little doll, like a winter doll kind of a thing. Okay. So after this, you want to let this part um, crust. I'm going to do the bottom now. My doll is going to have a dress and a cape. So the dress is going to be underneath the cape. And the dress is going to be blue, white blue. Oh, well, isn't that where Kali is from, Blue Box? I believe it is. I believe it is. So I'm going to spray it with my brush. Hello, Soul. I've been eating blueberries from Peru. The grocery store has oh, yeah? blueberries from Peru. She's from Peru. You still have, oh, did you say strawberries or blueberries? Blueberries. Blueberries, but in Canada, you are famous for your blueberries, no? Yeah, but it's out of season now. It's kind of cold, so, you know, the blueberries are frozen, the Canadian blueberries now. Well, that's true. That is true. I agree. It's probably really cold now. Are you guys getting excited for Thanksgiving? Did you get the turkey? So after this, we have to let this part crust as well or dry for the best. Uh, um, it's best to let it dry. So I'm going to set this aside. I have one lucky for you here. It is already done. And I'm going to do. Yes, they are huge, uh, uh, as in large in size. Yes. Very good. And I, I was actually wondering how much the people who actually pick the blueberries earn because they're selling them for two dollars i'm like how does how does that translate for the how much? the small thing you know but still i mean it's cheaper yeah. than than uh anything i've seen before well, here i can't even buy them fresh because i would probably go bankrupt so i brought oh. them frozen they're very expensive so what i'm gonna do now um well, first we should probably mark where the dress is going to end. So we know where, where to do the cape. So I'm using my scribe here. It's kind of like a triangular shape here. Okay. Now I'm I going guess... to add some of this blue on here. And we're going to spread it. And then I'll use the brush to create like rosettes or like, you know, shape the icing. So this icing is not super thin, nor it is super stiff. And I'm just adding a very thin layer here. I'm spreading it on. And now with just the tip. You're carving it kind of. Yes. Just very subtle. Looks like a, Swirls of wind. Yes, I guess. Yes. Swirls of wind. So oh, yes. Hi, Anne. Sorry, we were a little late today. We had some unexpected technical issues. Yeah, we're at the mercy of the, you know, the suppliers that we use to stream. Yes. Hello, Kathy. Okay, so then, oh, actually, I'm a little off, aren't I? I need to go further here. I'm looking at it now. It really throws you off. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about you, but you start a, mem a mental, like, preparation. Oh, of yes, I always work out before we do live. I try to work out. So that's my mental prep. Um, so... Yes, you, you, it's, and then if, you know, something kind of throws you off. Okay, so then uh, we're going to let this crust again, okay? Oh, maybe I can do the hair. Maybe I can do the hair. So 
I'm also going to do the hair. This is crusted, so we can do the hair on the top. And you can use, I use brown and also yellow. I really like the look of, look of yellow. It just breaks up the... All the red, it's going to break it up a little bit. All right. So this is about 20 seconds here. I'm going to turn it, and then go all around, and then you can ice. Now with the scribe, you can shape the hair. I'm just going to accentuate this point here a little bit. And then on the edges here, if you have access, you can remove it with a scribe or you can use a boo-boo stick. And after this, you have to let this all again crust before you add the tape. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. I've got one here that is ready. Okay. I'm going to also add some shimmer to the dress and I'm going to be using, this is a pearl luster dust that I used before. Oops, you don't see it, you can see it. It's in my palette here and it's already dried or it's partially dry, you can see. So I'm going to add a little more alcohol to it. I'm using Everclear. I like to use Everclear and I, store, I kind of keep it in my lemon extract bottle so I don't have to carry the whole cord. Okay. And now we can, uh, I'm gonna find my brush. There. Just mix it a little bit. And then I'll paint. Just to give it a little shine. Do we have any questions or anything? Uh, no questions. That's the dust I'm using today. It's Wilton brand. You can use any um, brand you like. This is just pearl. So it gives it a little... Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually did buy something for myself yesterday. I bought... Um, I don't usually drink Baileys that much, but during holidays, I like to like sip it, you know, on the evening. So I, I option for the biggest bottle. <laughs> it was the best value, right? It was, it was uh, eight, 16 euros, but it was like, it was big. They had like a gift one, which was kind of small. I was like, oh, that's not for me. So I bought the big one. So now for the dress, uh, for the for the cape, I'm going to actually do the cape in two two um, two steps. We're gonna do the cape around the head and then cape around the bottom. Okay. And I'm gonna be using red royal icing. And did you show the cutter for this uh, for the? Yes. For your this is a cutter that I had, somebody made it for me. I, sorry, I don't remember this was years ago. I don't know if they're in business yet, but I will have this in my, in my, um, shop coffee, my coffee shop. The only thing is like, it's very uh, interesting. I don't know if you came across this problem with the, with the, with the uh, cutters like this, you see how it's separating. Oh yes. That's a common issue with them. Is that's that's a manufacturer. So when a, a 3D cut, cutter is made, it's a string and the, the printer goes around and around and around. And if it's not well designed, well, those strings will sometimes separate. Yeah, and so, so that's what's happening. It, yeah, this was, I think, when it first came, like when the first like 3D No, 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 this still happens now. Oh, it, does it? 
yeah yes. so i never so i was like what's happening why is my cookie so weird and then i realized that it had a gap here Yes. So then the cookie dough gets in there and it's obviously mm -hmm. a, a and it, it keeps spreading and spreading. So that's why I put tape on there. You see? Okay, so now I'm going to do a sh I'm gonna do bottom, I suppose, because I have one that is already done that is bottom, so I'll just eyeball it. Karen thought it looked like a like a Moroccan building, or it could be also you know, like that Russian. Oh um, yeah, yes, it could be. That's true. I love nesting dolls. I think this was like our kind of like um, Russian Christmas dolls or whatever they whatever they are called, and they a lot of times they have a cape. So I don't know, that's why I, we kind of designed this shape. So Kathy's asking for a suggestion for a, a sturdy stand mixer. She's worried about wearing out her KitchenAid. Are you meaning your KitchenAid is a hand mixer? I, I've had my hand mixer KitchenAid for a long time. It's quite, it's quite a good product that I have to say, if you're talking about the hand mixer. Yes, it is a good product. Stand mixer KitchenAid also, it's, it's a workhorse. Um, I do love, I love my Kenwood, um, but it really depends on how much baking you're doing and how many, like, is it for the cookie dough that you are working with or I also had the commercial one, which was really like, it could handle like three batches of cookie dough, which was great. I'll tell you, Jeremy, there's a lot of things I didn't imagine 10 years ago that would be happening right now. I certainly wouldn't have imagined a pandemic. Yes. I, I didn't read that. Okay, so we have to let that craster dry and then we can do the top part. Okay. So Red right, Riding Hood, sure. What? Um, Tanya's saying it looks like Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, it does. That's what I was thinking as well. Hello, Jennifer. So now I'm going to add icing around the head. So I'm going to squeeze my piping bag more. Some more icing is coming out. And if you need to take a break, take a break. Turn your co the cookie the way you need to turn it. Today is Tuesday, right? Today is Tuesday. So we have one more, and then on, on uh, Thursday, one week till Thanksgiving, right? Thursday? Yeah, I think it's the 25th, so it's exactly a month um, from Christmas. Month for Christmas. What kind of cookies, Jennifer, are you baking? Heather's making cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Oh, I would love a good cheese. Oh, I love a good cheese. Does anybody have a Bosch that they could comment on? I oh, the big Bosch is popular. Yes, the big Bosch is popular. I don't know. I have not tried it. I've heard the good good things and like not so good things, I suppose. But most people love it. Mm -hmm. It just it's very big. So unless you know, if you're not making a a, a gazillion cookies, yeah, a gazillion cookies, it may not be for you. Thanks for coming, Jeremy. Vanilla cinnamon mini sugar cookies for my cookie kids. Oh, that sounds yummy. Yummy, yeah. I actually have Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at it. I'm like trying to zoom in on it. So then we have to let this dry again. Okay, I've got here one. <laughs> There's a lot of drying process that is done. I decorated the, the dress a little differently. We brushed the embroidery here, but what I did here. On this one, it's um, it's a lot faster. This one, I didn't didn't add the the last to that, so I'm gonna add it after. So you can either add it before or after also. So now we're just going to basically finish up. I'm going to add some. I'm going to add some blush, and this is baby pink by Crystal Colors. 
these things are quite expensive, but they will last. I, I don't know, I thought there was a price tag, but they will last for a long time. So, what's Brian, a, you well, well, what's a Nutramil? It must be some kind of a mixer. Oh. I have the less expensive nitro. Nitro reminds me of a nitro car. Is, it, is that what you have? Nitro car? You know, there's a, it's called nitro car or something like that. It's a remote car. I love watching. Oh, thank Thanks you, Laura. For joining us. Well, I, I'm pretty confident you guys are having your Black Friday if you're writing from the United States. And this is the time when they have really crazy sales. You know, and Black Friday, it's also in Europe. Do they have it in Europe? Well, they, we didn't have it in Canada. And now we have it in Canada only recently. Anyway, my point being is that this is the time to shop around. And they, because of the holidays too, they kind of sometimes will come out with like kits with extra bowls and different little extras. And if you have a Costco card, not to, the thing about Costco that I love is their return policy. So if you really don't like something and it doesn't suit your needs, you're not, you know, stuck with it. So that's something to consider. Now I'm gonna be using this is stiff realizing. You can use a piping tip. I'm using a tip plus bag here. And I'm gonna be going around and doing zigzag. That's very reasonable. Six quart kitchen aid for two seventy nine hand. That's that's good. I usually use this cutter to make Elsa from Frozen and Anna as well. Oops, things are falling. Hmm. I'm doing this in sections because. I'm using stiff icing and I was a little concerned by the time I'm done icing the, the bottom, the top is going to be crusted and the sugar is not going to stick. So it is important that the sugar, uh, the royal icing is not crusted, otherwise it won't stick. You're sending sugar, it's not going to stick to the icing. Like the, there is a little bit of icing on there, you can brush it off. It's very folk artish, like your Santa that you did. Yes, I want them to kind of it match. <laughs> so that's why I chose the blue. You can see here, I have a little bit of bleeding. And I know why. I didn't wait for this to kind of crust properly. You see a little bit of bleeding here? But we're going to hide that with icing and sanding sugar. Too bad Santa is broke this year. um did, were you using a turntable i was not maybe it was you I was I not using on, on but you can find a really um depends what you're looking for if you're looking for just a base kind of thing there's one on amazon that's pink it's between five and ten dollars it's a cookie turntable so it's quite like it's about five or six inches i have it it does the job if you want a bit fancier, go on Etsy. There's some cute ones on Etsy. If you're looking maybe to buy a gift or something, there's some with glitter and different things. There's some pretty ones. Sweetest, Sweetest Tear makes a cute one with glitter. Sometimes I don't really like to use the turntable because it can move too quickly. Well, you know what it does in my case, the thing that I hate is when you're piping, the icing, like, comes out and it actually turns the turntable the pressure of the icing coming yeah, out pushes true. it um, um, I, I don't well, know what the out. vibrating noise i have a lot of vibrating noise here and i'm freaking out do you hear it i don't hear it what's the noise uh, that is I love using sending sugar, especially white sending sugar. It's a must for Christmas. And you see, even if you, your red is not completely, completely dry and you get uh, some sugar sticking on it, it's quite pretty. 
Yeah, it looks um, like frost. Like frost, yes. I mean, this is not really going to stick because it's pretty dry, but if it does, I wouldn't really worry about it too, too much. Um, June is saying the vibration that you're hearing is her airbrush. <laughs> Thanks, June. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better. Oh, June's not well. Yes, I don't know if I, yeah, she was, yeah, I actually talked to June yesterday. She wasn't, she was a little under the weather. So um, I'm going to now use some thick royal icing. And these are the pom-poms. Remember the ones I made earlier in the beginning? So once they're dry, you can remove them and then use them to decorate. Okay. They're quite small, but so, so lovely. You see? Okay, if I can do Yes. That. Oh, Karen watched June's live, said it was good. Hello, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Oh, you still, you still have your cold? That sucks. Very um, charming, I want to say. It'd be a cute uh, child's party to do a little wolf with the, uh, you know? Yes. Oh, Cute little yes. woodland uh, theme. I'll bring my sand dust to go with it once I'm finished. So now I'm going to just pipe. I'm going to add three. What do you guys think? I felt like I needed to add more than one. Or do, do I just add one? I think one is enough, but it's up to you. It's your cookie. I've got three here. Do you think it's too much? <laughs> no. It's cute. Okay, let's do, let, okay, do you like one though? I like one myself, yeah. Okay, let's do one. Oh, your kids are getting vaccinated. They're starting to roll out the children's uh, thing. Well, that's, uh, everybody's loving it. Oh, Joseph, no problem. We were late ourselves. Yes, we were also late. Yes. So what, what happens next, in the next step, um, I, I actually painted the bow with gold, but you have to wait for the lines to um, to dry, okay? So that takes maybe uh, an hour or so. And then we can do the face. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of facial features. I'm just going to do the eyes. I'm going to attempt to do the eyes. I don't know if this is completely dry, I have to say, because I did them today. So hopefully... I won't do any damage. Do a very gentle touch. I'm gonna do a very gentle touch. I'm gonna try. And again, I'm using, this is a dual marker, rainbow dust. Many of you have seen us use this during the lives. Mm. And um, by dual, I mean one side is a fine tip. And the other side is pretty fine too though. This side, it's also like, it's not a, a bold tip, but it's like a more of a regular size. Like it's not as fine, obviously. So depending on, let's do a practice one because I haven't done eyes like this in, in ages. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do um, this eyelashes like this. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't punch. Like I said, I don't punch. I've said it a million times. I kick in the knees. <laughs> so that way you fall down on your own. <laughs> no, I would never do that to anyone. Okay. You, oh, you can leave it without eyes. eyes. I mean, do you like it without eyes? So I'm just going to see uh, where to put the eyes. I, I see that my hair here. Trying to maybe get a little in a way. So let's see. Oops. Oh. Ooh, I made a pipe. It's not like it's not completely dry. I'm so afraid to actually like write on it. It's not completely dry, so I don't know if I'll be able to like do it. Well, 
Just be okay. very gentle. So don't use this marker. This marker is a little bit expensive. Don't use this marker to draw on your cookies, the bare cookies, like to add your template. Save it just to write on icing. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. She doesn't have a nose because her friend said that doesn't have a nose either. So I'm going to bring him up. Anyway, the thing is, is, you know, um, evolution in the North Pole, it's so cold that your nose freezes off. So now the people there have no noses. What do you think? Sure. Is that a logical explanation? Uh, yes, that's a very good explanation. So, he, so he's here. So you could, you could also um, make it more uniform by using some gold. Maybe, maybe before you add the white, maybe you can splatter it with some gold to make it a bit more uniform. So it's, you know, and then um, to display them, you could um, maybe put them on a plate and just, you know, arrange them like that. So they, That's right. They breathe through. The, uh, what about their mouth? They breathe through their mouth. <laughs> oh, they don't have a mouth. They breathe through their ears. <laughs> they breathe. Oh, I'm so jealous. You're going to the Michaels. Oh, and Home Goods. Oh. Very nice. Everybody's okay. loving it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, so my, it's your turn. I'm, I did pretty well. 30 minutes. Excellent. Excellent. So, do you, are you ready? I'm, I'm as you. ready as it's going to go. So, I've got them set up here on my um, work area because it's a bit of a... Um, a, uh, oh, I love this. Beautiful. Let me remove myself. So there. So it is a, a platter, as you can see. And so I'm using just regular, nothing crazy. Um, you know, the, the, the um, shapes are just basic shapes. I try to kind of create the designs so that you don't always have to run out and buy you know, you can kind of look through what you already have. And so I'm just going to move my whole tray here so that I can kind of pull my other tray into. Everybody's already loving it. Beautiful. So let's just have a quick talk about the cutters. So this is a very common shape, the poinsettia. And well, I don't have that cutter. That's very nice. Yeah, it's a pretty common one. Cutter. And so you can use that for your middle and obviously you can use it alone, but I like it for the middle as opposed to just using around. This is a um, sunflower by Sweet Sugar Bell. And again, um, something that, you know, just fills in the area and you can do some pointed kind of petals around like a big yellow middle. And then you can actually buy from Wilton. Wilton sells these kind of gum paste flower kits. Yes, I have, I, I have it and there is a cutter like that. So you don't have to make gum paste flowers. You can buy it just for the cutters and there's beautiful petals. There's a really nice heart shape in it to make um, calla lilies, but you can use the heart and you get a nice variety of, of leaves. And this is another a shape by Callie Sweet Sugar Bell. This looks like a football, but this is, a, she has a poinsettia platter and a Christmas set. And it has a few shapes in it, like to make um, different kind of platters and such. So just, you can look through, you know, if you have football cutters or things like that. And this cutter here, this is one of my all time favorite cutters. I didn't, I didn't find it for today, but this is actually by Wilton. Wilton. Yeah, no, it's Wilton. Wilton. And they sell this. It's a nesting set. And they've redesigned it since I bought it. And one side is scalloped and the other side is cut. It's a rose, rose uh, leaf. No? Or not rose. It's, it's something. That it I don't know. Leaf. But if, if you look up leaf nesting set by Wilton, I didn't create a supply list today, but you'll find it. And it's really... I love this. It does a great feather. It does just, it's just a very versatile, nice shape. So the first thing I did is I added a gold perimeter to the cookies because it's Christmas and a little gold just 
is, uh, you know, kind of nice for the holiday cookies. And so when you're using gold, it's it can tend to look a little washed out when you paint on gold if you're painting gold onto a white background. So ideally, you're making your icing a little bit brownish or, or yellowish. And so when you add your gold, it already will have a little bit of pigment. And you see now I'm just adding a perimeter line. So this shape I opted, this is going to be the petal. And then this more straight shape is the leaf. And I'm, I added a line in the middle. Just, I found that if it's all like one shade, like all just red, it, it lacks a bit of pizzazz. Just making two tones of the same color really like elevates it. Yes, I, I hear you, Heather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can you can make cookies with so many different things like you just have to, you know, open the creative, uh, you know, like creative mindset. And so yeah, I'm just piping right on the edge. And you this hole is relatively big because when you're flooding a line like this, well, when you're coming in with icing, especially in the center line, well, it, a good portion of it gets hidden. So you need to. Would a you say it's a number three? That's what it kind of like reminds me. Yeah, number I would three? say. I would I say. Yes. And here is the leaf version. And you don't have to go dead center with the separation on this one. It is straight, but you can kind of like take it now, a little bit. Like Angie is asking now, this is what brand gold icing are you using this is actually warm brown yes this is i had leftover today's project all leftover icing so that i could use it up and uh you know you guys like sometimes you don't plan super but i thought the colors turned out quite nice so you don't That's have very to nice if you decide maybe if you don't like gold you can use silver and with silver it's best to use gray underneath Yes, or like wedge wood works. Or, nice. Yes, or yes, like just not white because the coverage is going. It's going to be really hard to cover. So, Christmas usually means rush stress. So ideally, you're not painting these with a paintbrush. You, if you have an airbrush, that's great. If you don't, you can actually buy. They sell like uh, cans of color that spray exactly like a, a can of spray paint that you would buy to paint your, uh, you know, like uh, at the, in the construction kind of area, but it's food color in it. And where Milton is it? Milton has them. They have a gold mist spray, also PME. They have a gold mist spray. So you can yes. use one of those. Milton is available everywhere pretty much. Even exactly. Walmart, I think they have the can. So you push them as closely as you can together so that you can maximize your spray here. And I'm, I'm just airbrushing the whole thing. And so you don't have to be very meticulous. You're aiming for the line, but it doesn't matter if it gets everywhere. And it's just so much faster than coming in with a paintbrush. You're not disrupting the line. I don't have to wait for the line to dry. I'm just painting it, and, and then even if my cookie gets painted on the perimeter, it doesn't matter. So then in one fell swoop, everything is gold, and then I can come in and fill the center portions. And it's just... Well, this and I don't know who said that they use red. I used today red, and I painted uh, painted gold. It just gives it a different kind of a yeah. look, of, like, um, but I don't know who... who... I don't well, know. I actually, uh, if, if you look back at a few live streams back when I did a purple watercolor pumpkin and I used fondant gold elements and I did uh, have like red fondant and I colored it gold and it looks completely different. It just changes it. So once you've got your sections on there, you can come in and, and flood. Now, ideally, you do wait a little bit for it to dry just so that when you're piping, this line doesn't get nudged or whatever. You want everything to kind of like look very polished. And so I'm doing two shades of red. 
And it's a great idea, Karen, to use the color that didn't work out to use kitchen sink black. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so I'm tucking in my point right at the like kind of there's like a little corner there and I'm filling in that whole area. And if you go on June's Facebook, she showed last week, I think, how to make stained glass. And this would be a really nice uh, stained glass project. Yes, it would be very nice. And so I'm just filling in. And so this is um, just, I used red and then I added that claret. You know that claret from Rainbow? I love claret from Progel. I love it. So Bobby has a question. What kind of gold were you using in your airbrush? I'll show it. I'll show okay. it. Just give me two seconds. One, two. <laughs> So when your icing is not agreeing and it's not leveling, if you shake it like that, that motion causes a self-leveling, okay? So if your consistency is maybe a little on the thick side. Okay, so this is metallic airbrush color gold. Is this the, the drip color? No, I don't see it. It's called magic color. Magic color. And oh, so it's, I, it's really, really gold. And it's called the, it must be from Europe. It's magic colors dot c o dot l l kosher it says on it no idea ingredients water oh so it's water based alcohol pro well so i don't know <laughs> some unpronounceable word yeah anyway. some of them are hard to pronounce and so now here is my lighter of the two and I'm coming in again connecting and you see that gold line in the middle when you're coming in with color on both sides how narrow it it kind of becomes if your icing is very runny it will heal faster but you will not get that bubble you know if you want your icing to look like like bubbled out you want to maybe add a structural line you know sometimes we you see people adding that zigzag line so that the icing doesn't droop. And the other thing you can do if you want to have maybe a puffier look is a dehydrator. It'll help crust the top layer. Hey, so yeah. hey Amber. Amber is here. Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber. We'll see you on Friday. So that it stays rounded, you see? Or else it, it'll kind of like dip in. If your icing is very, very runny, there's just nothing left. A runny icing is essentially you've taken all the air out of it and it's water. And so when it dries, it will kind of like create a dip in there. So if you want this to remain here, these are dry over here. Beautiful. These remind me of jewelry that I love that uh, like I never buy jewelry, but I love jewelry. Too. Yes, I don't. I'm not a big jewelry, but, but I but that's what like I was going jewelry. for. Have fun, have fun in, at Michael's and yes. shop vicariously for us there will yes katie hey katie katie's asking how are we doing how are you doing more oh, i'm very good so you see do you, you know like the two colors of red it just makes it a little bit more interesting you certainly could just do one you could do one left if you let it dry you could do one side maybe in sanding sugar but i do like the two um the two tones what did she Oh, she's excited to be back. Yes. I love coming up with new words, Jeremy. It's my, my. That and cookie designs. All yes. right. So, so there is the petal version. This would be interesting. I would like to see comparison of different techniques to add gold and silver. So that would be nice to see. I love it. I love yes. it with also green. It says you really chose such beautiful colors. Well, here I was, I made the green and then I had leftover blue. So I just um, squeezed the blue in there and that's what gave me this color here. So today it's just, oh, there's a hole in my piping bag right oh, there. Oh, I see that. So I'm going to put, put a finger on there just to seal the, the dam. You just flatted it because sometimes if you don't see it, it, kept, it keeps going, 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 and then, and then it falls on your cookie and it messes up the design. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the thicker icing is more fiddly, but it's what it's it, the thicker it is, the more air is being kind of held. 
And so it's really loving it. Very Heather says it says it's very pretty, kind of modern artish, artistic, artish, modern artish. Is that a word? Artish. I or get it. Artish, like uh, it's more. Um, yes. And so then on the other side again, I switched it up a little bit, and this is just. We are so grateful you are loving the live shows. Thank and you. here you can see there's some tension. This is, you pay attention. Mm -hmm. This means your bag is saying um, it's a little feeling a little weak and it might blow up. So if you notice that, you want to maybe pop it into another piping bag so that there isn't a, a, a blowout. I'm keeping my finger on it to try to reduce the pressure. But ideally you would put it in another my hole is quite small and that's what's causing the added pressure. Like there's a, you know, there's small and then there's minuscule and it's quite small. Thanks for joining us, Susan, for the first time. We do have a question. Maybe you can talk about that later. How would you pack it? Something like this? Um, I think I would do, well, it depends. If you're gifting it, you could go to the dollar store and they have some really nice, um, inexpensive trays for the holidays. So you could do that. And the pizza boxes, I have to say, I'm liking the pizza boxes for... Small pizza boxes? Well, you, you'll you measure it, right? Like the diameter and get a pizza box that will suit it because it is quite wide. But a 10-inch pizza box... You know, you could have it for a variety of projects. Here I have also this uh, kind of sunflower that I had from a previous thing. So that's maybe an option. Why not have? I thought I had another. Um, another. Um, yeah, two shades of the same color. It really, it really makes a nice design. I was sure I had another poinsettia. <laughs> it's hiding somewhere. Go look in your studio. So while she's looking, where are you guys watching from? What's the weather like? What did you eat for breakfast? That is so weird. I know I have it disappeared on you. That is weird. Anyway, so I did do a, a recording, so we'll I'll just play it over here. Okay. Do you have you have it there? Okay, great. So for the center, I, I just added a clump of icing and then coated it in sanding sugar. And then you can see I outlined like the larger petals and then just added gold for the like smaller sections. And you can see I'm adding two tones of the red to each kind of petal oh, area. Gorgeous. This is like, a, I would wear this as a ring or, or a you know, brooch or something, it's beautiful. And I finished the design off with like the little dot border. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, if, I mean, I would totally wear a ring. Like so you that. can see smaller, it. smaller, not <laughs> smaller. So you can see, you see the little small sections. I just did like gold, and then I'm grabbing my my brown again, and I'm just adding little dots around it to kind of like hide the seam between the sand. Everybody's sugar. loving it. So sanding sugar, the thing that's great about it, as opposed to like different types of, of products is they, it's pretty a decent bite. Like when you bite in it, it's not like, like sometimes some of the sprinkles are very, very hard, you know? And so the, the product that I use, once you've used it to airbrush, well, you can use it also to um, to paint for your other little details. Like I added the little dots so you can come in carefully because obviously now you can't really airbrush because you'll get the, the gold on the other areas. But you can just come in and, and touch up the little dots so that everything is kind of the same color, you know? Everybody's loving it too pretty to eat. If you don't have an airbrush, these types of uh, airbrush paints are cheaper than the lusters. So you can get a bottle of this and, and paint it on. You don't have to use an airbrush gun to apply it. But you see now I've got everything in the same kind of tone. I'll bring the platter back into frame. 
Did I just do this one? This one's freshly iced. All right, let me clear up, clear the tracks here. So you can make two layers, I guess, of poinsettia, depending on the event. Let's say you were going to a family party and you know there's a lot of people that are going to be there. You know, you can kind of adjust. Like I added a cookie cutter there just because the cookies, I worked on these to prep today. And so I didn't want my poinsettia to kind of cause a, a cracking. But if you want, you could add a little, just a, a circle underneath, you know. Can you put the link for the gold somewhere that you use for the, I suppose, the airbrush gold? Well, I'll type it in the, here, let me just um, go here. I'll type the name. It's called Magic. I like small, flat, like small, I like platters like this because the cookies are um, good size. You know, it's not overwhelming. So you can have, you know. Yeah. And then, and like if I if I add to it, you can see, you know, you can kind of like add to it because it looks here. Let me just, just zoom out here. You can kind of add to it, you know, and and kind of make a deconstructed type, you know what I mean? Like if you want more cookies. Beautiful. And it just looks like it's extending out. You can work with, let's say, an oval platter or you could work with, a, you know, a round and you can kind of like layer them a little bit angled, stacking them, you know. But I mean, you get the what point. What works is the, the shape, you know, the similar shapes. If, we, if you include similar shapes, it really does work because it just keeps on going. You know, you don't have to. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And because I painted like everything, you get the gold like on the vanilla cookie. And it looks very festive, like you're not getting the whole gold look on video there, I can see, but you're getting the concept and it's something that can be done. Did you, did you add any kind of shimmer to your red? No, I didn't. That's just the shine. When you dry your icing in a dehydrator, you get a, a next level of shine. It just gives, it dries it and becomes very shiny. Thank you, Byron. Thank you, Byron. Do you have any tips on a gluten-free dough? Yes, I do have the recipe on my blog, actually, gluten-free uh, cookie dough recipe. It's uh, quite popular. A lot of people, you know, like it. Um, I don't know what you are struggling with. You know, that's hard to... I think the main thing I would say is letting the, letting the dough uh, rest because the gluten-free... Flowers are usually, they're very kind of like sandy, dry. So letting it rest and um, hydrate the flour, it kind of helps to create the texture that is more pleasant than eating as, you but, know. But it's like something that I've mentioned in the past too, Han. I mean, ingredients vary by country. Yes, yes. That, you know? that, that's so, true. I've used the one-to-one -one, uh, like um, King Arthur flour, a gluten-free mix that you can make your own also yeah so that's it you might sometimes have to experiment with different brands of flour yes. like sometimes it's not so much the recipe like han has had great feedback so if it's not working maybe maybe your flour that you should try yeah, the, fl yeah the flour may be wrong also somebody had tried the ve the, i have a vegan recipe vegan uh, um cut out cookies and um they've tried a specific um gluten-free mix the comment is on the blog. I can't remember the name of the mix, Jennifer or Jessica or something like that. Is like a, I guess, a mix out there that is very popular. And she used it with the vegan. And so it actually was like dairy free and uh, like gluten free um, recipe she created with that vegan recipe that I have. So thanks for um, sticking with us today. Apologies. I, I really, I was like, it's not going to happen today. <laughs> well, it's very annoying because we prepare a lot for you guys. And so when this, the, the stream yard wasn't working, we were like, oh, no. oh King you, Arthur. Daddy. Well, King Arthur, I have no doubt whatever they have is probably good because their products yeah, are Yeah, that that's what I used. I used in, in BJ's or I guess in Costco that you can get um, a big um, 
I don't know, maybe two, I don't know, five pounds maybe, or maybe bigger. Like you it's, have it it's here. when I was testing, it's one to one ratio, but you can also make your own mix if you know how to do it. And I'm sure online there are recipes on how to create your own gluten for mix with the flour that you buy and make it the best possible for the recipes that you need. Yeah, 10 pound bag. Yeah, so that's probably, it lasted me for a long time. So thanks, well, thanks for joining us. We will thanks. be back on Friday. Amber is going to join us and Amber and I will be decorating. Marlon is going to just enjoy herself. And, and it's the last kind of chance. If you guys want to get any cookie kits, you can check out Global Belly. Uh, yes. you know, sh shipping delays would be time if you want to order. And if you want to check out our groups, we have our group on Patreon under our same handle, Hanyelas or Montreal Confection. So thanks everybody for joining Thank us. You. See you later. See you.